go flu, there's times of depression, times of more anxiety, times where I'm just like, this diet's stupid. And then other times where after the keto flu, I get used to things, get used to the habit, um, you know, eating differently, getting used to cooking differently, buying the right vegetables, buying meats, finding them on sale. You get used to the whole thing after just a few weeks. But um, the one thing was my calories were definitely lower at the beginning. I had to eat nonstop. I, and, and I was telling Michaela, who introduced me to this diet and told me to try it, um, she was like, yeah, you're going to like be hungry a lot of the time at the beginning. Your body's just not used to it. My body was craving carbs, and I'm just like, use the fat for energy, you idiot. My body wasn't listening for a while. So what it did is, uh, for all you ladies <laughs> or gay men, um, I'm going to show you my stomach. Now, it's nothing serious, okay, but I had a beer belly before the ketogenic diet. Not a beer belly, but I had a kangaroo pouch. I was growing a joey in there. And from the reduced calories, but also you talk to anyone, you reduce carbs, your stomach gets flat, man. It gets flat. So that was what I saw even around week one. Um, flatter stomach and no bloating after eating. Huge improvement. Huge improvement. So I just want to show you. Like, that's pretty cool, right? And I'll do a little flex. Like, guys, I haven't done a sit-up in a month. A, because that accident uh, bruised my ribs, right? I don't know if you can see that. That's my hip, but that was all bruised. Um, uh, my ribs are still bruised here, so I haven't been able to work out. But look at that, man. That's crazy. Now, if I push out, that's the push out. That's the push out. But you're never actually going, Whoa, like when you're walking around, right? So that's pretty cool. What do you think? If I do a little twist... You know, it's all lighting at the end of the day. And I'll have to make this a thumbnail so I get a click or two. But um, guys, like in all seriousness, not to flaunt or be, be cocky about how my body looks. You know, I don't do that type of thing. But I wanted to show you and you asked for it. Um, again, I should have done a before. Um, thinking if I have any pictures of a before, I probably do. But I did lose 10 pounds um, on the keto diet. And the, the 10 pounds were on, was honestly uh, in that stomach area. That's where... You know, women get it in the hips and uh, men get it right in the bellies, right in the lower abdomen. So that was pretty cool. What do you think? That's pretty cool. So we're at no allergies. That's number one. Awesome. Number two, belly fat, gonzo. Number three, headaches. Headaches. Now here's the tough thing. Here's the tough thing. I got a pillow about a week and a half into the ketogenic diet, a new pillow, a Casper pillow, but... I was sleeping at my parents' place. I was sleeping at friends' places. So I had different pillows throughout the month. And I was still getting no headaches in the morning, in the afternoon, night. Never. Never. And let me tell you, I would get headaches often in the morning. Ketogenic diet, no headaches. No headaches. Can you believe that? Now, I want with these three, three cures... I'm not, I'm not advertising any diet. Um, like I'm never one to be like carbs are bad, like to eliminate this or go vegan or go carnivore or do this and that. I'm just sharing my own experiences here. And with these three improvements, that's pretty awesome. That is pretty cool. Just after 30 days of eating differently. I don't know what the long-term effects of keto are. Um, well, I'll talk to, uh, I'll talk to you about the foods I'm reintroducing, but that's so cool. That is so cool because usually I'll, I'll have a headache in the morning. Just it feels.